Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Gainio Bison. Today we are going to discuss about the hybrid Duma technology. Before we start the technology, let's discuss some of the keywords. The first word is myeloma cells. Myeloma cells are generally cancerous cells. They have the ability to divide in a very uncontrolled manner. And they can divide outside our body also. And the next is MAB, monoclonal antibodies. Monoclonal antibody, it is abbreviated as small, small m, capital A and capital B. So the monoclonal antibodies, if you break the words, then mono means single, clonal means the identical cells that are called clones and antibodies you know all that when there is a specific antigen then the body produces the antibodies against that particular antigen so the monoclonal antibodies they are the antibodies that arise from a single clone of cells that's why the name is monoclonal as it is derived from a single clone of cells for example some plasma cells they are identical in structure but in case of polyclonal antibodies the polyclonal cells they produce by different types of plasma but in monoclonal antibodies as the plasma cells are identical so the antibodies they bind to the specific ep2 the next word i have for you is hybridoma cells hybridoma cells are the hybrid cells and we know that the hybrid means that is a mixture of two dissimilar cells and the next one i have for you is hgprt enzyme the hgprt enzyme it stands for hypoxanthin guanine phosphoribosyl transferase the next one is hat culture it is a culture medium to make the hybridoma cells sensitive so let's discuss the technology in this technology the host is we have taken mouth and the first step is to generate the antibody producing b cells by immunization or injection so this is the injection which contains the antigen it is injected to the mice, then the mice produce the antibody to that with respect to the particular antigen. You can see this is the antibody forming cells. Then after the formation of the antibodies, the myeloma cells, generally the myeloma cells increase the monoclonal antibodies the scientists they have taken from the bone marrow tumor. So it is a kind of tumor cells it is very cancerous and we have already discussed it has the ability to divide in an uncontrolled manner and it has the capacity to divide outside also. So then the fusion of the myeloma cells with the B cells which are responsible for the production of antibodies results in the formation of hybrid cell lines that is called the hybridoma cell. Then the hybridoma cells are divided and produce the clone of itself. So these are the identical hybridoma cells. As these are the identical cells, we can call it as clones and as the clones are derived from a single cell that's why the antibodies produced from that cell called as monoclonal anti so what is then the hybridoma technology in short we can describe it as the hybridoma technology is a technique of forming the hybrid cell lines that is called the hybridomas by fusing a specific antibody producing cells with the myeloma cells that is the B cell cancer cells and the cells are selected for its ability to grow in the tissue culture. They grow in a culture that is called hat culture. We grow in 
are formed by the polyethylene glycol and during the fusion the unfused myeloma cells that are deficient in an enzyme called HGPRT and the fused hybridoma cells. So you have to take the hybridoma cells and culture the hybridoma cells in a hat medium. Hat is transfer hypoxanthine aminotadine thymidine method. So the unfused myeloma cells can be selected against using media containing hat. So let me tell about something about the hat medium. Hat medium is uh, uh, the full form is hypoxanthine aminotadine thymidine medium. It is generally used in the cell culture for the post fusion selection to eliminate certain types of myeloma cells. And in this case, we have to separate the hybridoma cells with the unfused myeloma cells. So that's all about the monoclonal antibodies production by the hybridoma. I hope it will help you. Please subscribe to my channel to get more such videos. Thank you.